Oh, these right here, I'm gonna have to air out. You gotta tap, 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 tap. I see they hit. Babe, our old home is coming along. My old fixer up. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Hey y'all, welcome. Thanks for joining me. I'm Shante and this is Tut Tip. So today I got some goodies from Amazon, y'all. So I figured out, y'all, how they're achieving this plump pillow look. I got some new pillows, some pillow cushions, some pillow inserts. So I'm trying to elevate this space, get away from the flat, boring pillows. So hopefully the stuff that I order here today will give you some ideas for your own living room, give you some tips and inspo for your own living room couch, sectional, whatever you got going on up in there. So out with the flat and in with the new. So let's get started. All right, y'all. So let's see what we got here. Got a few goodies from Amazon. Let's open them up. I ain't looked at nothing yet, so we gonna see. We gonna see. Okay, so this is the first one. So the trick is, word on the street, is that you have to buy your pillow insert. It needs to be at least one inch larger than your pillow cover. So I think I went two inches though. So on these right here, I went two inches. Started off, I got these, I want to say about three or four months ago. So I didn't do a video for this. But I will put up a little clip so y'all can see. So slowly but surely, I've been updating the pillows. This, these are the type of pillows I used to have. See how flat this is? Uh-uh, it's not going to work. It's not the type of pillow where it has an insert on the side and you can take, unzip, or unbutton the cover, the pillow cover, and stuff. So once these are done, they're done. Once they're old and dirty, you know, it's hard to keep clean, keep these clean. Well, with the new way, I can take off the pillow cover and just pop in the washing machine. So I thought I was going to have to plump these up, but these are already ready to go. Those are already ready. Oh, these right here, I'm going to have to air out. And I will put everything below in the description area, all the links. So if you wanted to purchase these yourself, you could. So I have these in my bedroom, this brand. So normally with these, you gotta let, you gotta tap, 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 tap. Let them air out, air out, sit out. So that they can form. So they can clump up. So I'm going to take these, sit them down, pat it. Um, I said they hit a hop, a heavy duty, heavy duty, hit, hit, a hop, but you don't stop for rocking to the bang, bang, boogie. Say up, jump the boogie to the rhythm of the boogie, and big. Okay, so while I'm waiting on those to flap up, to do their thing, I'm going to open these up, the pillow covers. And looking at this right away, this is not the color, you know, when you're ordering something offline. But I think this is going to work. I was looking for something the color of the lamp, a little darker brown, and the color of my curtains in the living room. No. I don't know. Oh, this looks good. We gonna see. Oh, and I wanted to bring in some cream. Lighten things up. Lighten things up a little bit. These are really nice. 
So the covers that I ordered, both of them, the textures are like a velvet texture. I'm going to put it all together, and if not, I'm just going to have to send these back. If I don't like the look, I'm going to have to send these back. This right here is perfect. So this is, I want to say, two inches bigger than the insert. So it's going to take a little maneuvering, y'all. See how easy this is. So this was easy to get in compared to when I was putting the covers on here. Whatever, wherever you decide to get your pillow covers and you're doing this for the first time, you need to be very careful and gentle on this part. You don't want to mess up and rip any seams or anything like that. If I can do this with my, my crazy acting hands, you know I got hand issues, then y'all should be able to do this with ease. used to buy anything so light and that can easily get dirty like this but now that I'm doing this style of pillow with the case where you can just take off and wash I have no problems with doing that I still don't want company gravitating towards this okay I'm still probably gonna be like all right you trying to lay down and do all this or you eating you need to hand me that pillow thank you I try, try to say it as sweetly as possible. But look at that, y'all. That's cute. The pillowcases came two in a pack. And I thought that was just cool, even if um, I decided that I don't need two of them for this couch, that when I was washing this one, I can go ahead and put this one on there and I just have a backup in case something, a disaster happened. But it's a disaster. It's not going to happen. You know, we got to put good vibes out here in the universe. I guess what I can do is show y'all these right here. Now that I'm looking at my curtains, I'll have to show y'all my curtains. These might be going bad. Okay, these are the color of my curtains, y'all. So you can kind of get an idea of what I'm going for. sizes right now so this is the largest pillow this is the next size down I'll put the sizes below so let's see what everything looks like uh, I'm really kind of disappointed in the brown y'all cut the color carpet that I have in here so the orange was just to add a little extra uh give it a little bit more of a more personality and I'm flirting around with doing different color shades of teal and um, the different shades of greens and blues. And maybe everything will look bright and come together when we finally decorate and add our shelves to the wall over here. All right, so I think I figured out this area, y'all. 
it's like doing a, it's like when you decorate the bookshelf you gotta keep walking away and stepping back and switching it up okay so then let's go over here to this side so for right now over here that's all i got <laughs> That is all I have, y'all. I'm going to get maybe a couple of more of those colors, and that's going to be it. I'm going to be done with this couch besides adding a throw blanket. And I think everything will just look better and pull together once we have the shelves up here on the wall and the decor is done and things. So we're going to have some large floating shelves up here on the wall. So, yeah, that brown's not going to work, y'all, but that's what they look like. Hey y'all, so real quick, I'm going to add, oh, and pay, pay no mind to the noise in the background. That's the kids and the hubby. So real quick, I want to just give you a couple of home updates. So one of my recent home updates are these corbels right here that I got from the antique store. So um, I'm still working on how I am going to style and organize my nightstand in my bedroom but so these are just i thought these were adorable these were cute another update here in the master bedroom are these corbels here that we have under the shelf here for our tv in the master bedroom so here's these corbels i also got them from the same antique store here in south carolina and i am going to give y'all a tour of the goose creek antique mall so y'all can see what kind of stuff they got in there. I just love these y'all. So I'm trying to think of ways to add a little character to my home. And so I like to pick up little things like this. And also um, just things that I don't see in everybody's home. And recently I seen some in Hobby Lobby. So if y'all haven't been there, I'll see. I posted it on my Instagram. So I'm gonna go back and see if I still have that footage and put it try to put a little clip of it up here for y'all so y'all can see what the ones in hobby lobby look like but the ones that i got for my shelf in my bedroom and on my tv stand i got those from the goose creek antique store and then next look i haven't cleaned up in here y'all the next um thing i want to show y'all is this new edition right here i got from amazon for the bathroom and y'all know how i do if you see my other videos you know i like to add rocks inside of my soap dishes soap dispensers so those are just a couple of recent updates i do have a lot of more home updates for y'all but that'll be in another video now if you're not subscribed please subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified and not miss out on any of my videos and if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up Thanks for the support, and thank you for watching. Babe, our old home is coming along. Our old fixer. Yeah! <laughs> yeah!